beautiful faces are showing because we're recording now. And like I said, we have something exciting and that's how to share your newsletters online, like a web version. And what Matt has done with this is stellar. I'm so proud to show you. And then a little trick because he's done that, that will definitely help you get a whole lot more people looking at it. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Anyone who's just coming in, if you haven't missed anything yet. Um, we actually have several coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm just getting started. So if you just arrived, don't feel like you've missed much. Put the little faces up here so I have a face to talk to. All right, so I'm sharing the back office of um, uh, actually a beta tester. She uses um, it for everything herself. And um, I've logged in as an admin so I can see the back office. And so what I'm going to do is pretend it's yours or mine or whatever. And I'm going to show you how to share your newsletter as a web version. Now, the newsletter gets shared after it's been sent. So in this case, we're going to go to her campaigns because once a newsletter is sent or is pending to be sent, it's in campaigns little bullhorn here. That's where everything gets emailed and text from. So this one is done. Let's see. Let me just find the newsletter July 2021. Is that okay? That one? Okay. Well, here's, oh, that's a text. Um, here's a newsletter for August. We'll do this August's newsletter. It's the one that we wrote. I don't know if she's changed anything, but notice it says complete. Is my screen on 100? Oh, it's not. I'm sorry. That better? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like squinting. Okay. So it says complete, and that means you can now share it. If it's still in draft status or still scheduled, you won't be able to. It's only after it's completed because then it's done. So I can go to these three dots on the same line as the one I want to share. And it says share web version link. I can do it there or I can do it from inside the newsletter. This is the shortcut. So I'll just do it without even going inside because you have to wait till it's sent. Share web version link. So it says that I can share this link. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to share it. I'm going to put it, let's say, in my Facebook group. And they're going to click on it. From their from your link that you share i, I don't want to pull up facebook because you never know what's going to pop up on facebook so i'm not going to pull mine up i pretty much stay out of there oh that was a text i'm so sorry that was pretty dumb sorry about that <laughs> okay pick the right one don't do what i do do what i say um so you take you take your link and you can share it directly to your facebook if you just choose this and you can share it um many ways if you do this one time to one person in your group in your business page on your own wall you have all the options once you click this button and i do have training on how to do that because these are our share buttons but in this case i'm going to copy the link and i'm going to go into here and do the real one when you share that link and somebody clicks on that link they will be taken to your website with that newsletter there it is a web version of the newsletter so the from is on there but this is just your newsletter just exactly the way the guys got it that was emailed to however now you can share this anywhere you want to you can feel you, know, you can share it anywhere on any of your social media accounts um, and you still have the top part of your website. So if it's even shared um, for prospects and they go, oh, wow, that's really cool. And then they can just start browsing in your website and just see what, what's there. Monthly promos, you know, discounts, ooh, everybody likes those, right? So they can just start like, but I don't know how to get back to it without clicking on the link because it's on your, I just hit my back button to see it. 
So I don't know if that even works. That may not even work. Well, it must have worked, huh? But um, so that's where it shares when it is on when you share the link. It shares it back onto your um, uh, website, which is cool because then they can share it from there too. Copy the link, share it on. Now I was talking about a trick um, that I that I was said you'll get nearly a hundred percent of the people to read this, you know, of, of your folks. And that is to send this link that you get right here as a text. Just tell them I have a web version of, of the newsletter. I think you would like to see. Here's a link to it. That's going to capture all those people who don't check their email very often, or it goes to a different folder and they don't look at that folder. That's me. Um, it's going to hit all those folks. And then the other one is also um, sending them, sending it via Facebook messages if you use it. I mean, our family uses it, so you may have a bunch of your team that, that chats via Facebook Messenger. You can click on here and send it to however many people you want to. You're just sending them the link. And how did we get there? We went to campaigns. We went to a completed email campaign over here tells me what kind of campaign it is we want an email campaign now this text one did share but that's really not the purpose here so here's a email click on the three dots share web version you get the copy of the link and this link is what you share share it anywhere you want to put it on facebook in your groups in your business pages in an email um, that not probably the best one so because your email version went out, but texting it or sending it in Facebook Messenger, big time. You're going to catch all those people who would not have probably found it in their email box. So you just click it. I'm going to show you one more time that they would click that button and it would go to your own website with um, everything removed, no distraction except the top. So they could go, oh, what about her, <laughs> you know, and read all about. And the, the trick I was telling you about, the little thing is to send out a text to everybody. New text, where is it? Text. I won't do it, I promise. Because <laughs> this is a customer's account that I'm showing. Because the, the email has to have already been sent before you can share it. Um, and it's any email, not just your newsletter. If you wrote something up that you wanted to get out to everybody on a web version, I'd probably use it on my blog if I were doing it. But if you're happier with the emails, do it. The blog is more permanent. Hello. And then put their recipient's first name, comma, this is Trish. And I'm hoping you got the email. Uh, version, whatever. I should have had this ready, copy and paste. Just in case, here is a link so you can view it online. I think you'll find it. What's the word I'm looking for? Find it. Uh, informative inspiring inspiring see that's why she writes newsletters okay then put that link in there i'd love to hear what you thought or think or opinion whatever you want to say it's a call to action put it put it at the end so it, it re gets a response a reply a comeback i would love to hear what you think or i'd love your opinion or what do you think of the stress away? You know, something to get um, to get to just get a, an answer back. And watch for the inbox texts. It'll show you when they've answered. It's right there. And of course, how to send these things. You just now find the recipients by um, 
push it on the recipients tab, picking the list you want to use, whatever it is, and then coming over here and scheduling it to send. <laughs> so that is how simple that is. Now, as far as that campaign goes, that I just show, I just did in Trish, Trish's account, I'm going to get rid of it real quick so it doesn't muddle up her back office. Because I just wanted to show really quick how to send a text to everybody and kind of give you an idea of what to say. Um, we'll pull that back up before I delete it for anyone who just came in. What I've described is how to share your newsletter online, like a web version. And the secret to making sure nearly 100% of your people read that newsletter is to follow up with a text. And I would say follow up the next day, something on the order of, I hope you got it, um, but just in case you didn't, here's a link. And then we, we come up with this word inspiring. That was great. Um, and then a call to action at the end. Put the link to it and then put a call to action. What did you think? What's your opinion? Do you have stress away? Those kinds of things. So I just wanted to go over that really quickly for those that came in late. And that is the training. That was fast. That was easy. Now, questions. Let me unmute you, right? I'm going to delete that real quick so we know that it's deleted. Stop sharing my screen. Um, oh, well, I, I think you just take yourself off mute, don't you? If you want to talk or ask a question. Is there something new? Yeah. Brand it's new? Brand new. Okay. Yeah. And now the newsletter, right, that's all not new. But the, the ability to have it where you can have a web version of it where somebody doesn't have to find the email. That's what's new. Yeah. You have to send your email first before mm -hmm. you can utilize this copy link. You have to, yep, you have to send it first. Could you just send it to yourself and still get the same result? You could. I mean, you could, but there's a number of people who are going to be email people far more than text. They could have already unsubscribed from your texts, as far as we know. So I would do all of it. I would email it out, follow it up with the text um, for those folks that didn't get, don't get emails. So they may be unsubscribed from emails. So I have completed it. It was really fast and easy. If you did come on late, you know that this call is open to any question about any part of the system. I've described that I'm putting together an emailed um, coaching class that's going to help everybody in a very focused fashion from the ground up one piece at a time and it's um, it's over halfway done so I'm really excited about that and that'll be available probably in a week and a half to two weeks so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording I think everyone's shy they're not asking any questions so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you guys for coming. I'll stay on for questions. Wait, that didn't stop it. Hold on. <laughs>